Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. Two years ago, Daniel Sturridge was one of the most sought after strikers in Europe. Now he's a moody afterthought for both club and country. His tinfoil ankles banished to the bench and his permanent scowl threatening to break any camera that dares to pan to the sidelines. Does he have a future at Liverpool? Let's go find out. Daniel Sturridge, the man is made of glass. He, he loves a good old treatment room. Does he fit in Klopp's plans? No, uh, he hasn't got, I don't think he's got the running power. He hasn't got the... Uh, the mental strength either, he spits his dummy out far too much and again he's injured too much as well. I, I believe Danny, Danny's future he is going to be leaving Liverpool probably in the next 12 months time. I think, he, I think he'll stick it up a little bit longer and then I think he might, he might just uh, my jump field. Well it depends how much game time he gets to play. Uh, will he be happy? Will he be happy in January? The man never seems to be happy to be honest, he seems to have a permanent scowl on his face. I won't be sad, no, because when Suarez went, I believe him, um, you know, he was he was a, a main key player, obviously it's Mr. Mr. Suarez. Um, great respect for the man, first time such best player in the world, without a doubt now. I'm um, a good all-round player. Uh, and um, you know, as I say, Sturridge, he, he pretty much got that, that ability that he had from him. So he fed off his confidence and they were a great partnership at Liverpool at the time. So when the main player went from us, which, which was obviously Suarez, then Sturridge, I don't mind if he went at the end of the day. He's been great for us in the, in the, at, the, at the time, but he's a bit inconsistent nowadays and it's time for him to move on. Once, once they become inconsistent and complacent, it's time for them to move. Look at that, Sturridge came on. 12 months ago we were like, oh thank god the Sturridge is yeah. playing. Now he's like, oh so what? Yeah. He, he's injury prone. He gets injured too, too easy, you know. I'm not a big supporter of Daniel Sturridge to be honest. I'm really not. I think there's better players than him. I think sometimes he can he can look a little bit lazy on the ball. I thought when, when Suarez left, he thought he was the main man, so he was carrying the team and then Klopp comes along and now he, I, I don't think I don't think he fits no, not at all now. So if Sturridge wants to leave, your reaction would be So what we'll get someone else. Someone else in there that's as good as him. And for me he's just I like him a lot, but from a selfish point of view I think it's all about him. Sometimes when he can he can run back and help out. You know, he's not just, obviously he's a striker, but there's, there's midfield and defence as well. I think he could, although he's an asset, there is flaws to that sort of game where I think he can tackle a little bit more, he can go in a little bit more and help. He's not injured, we should sell him anyway. Do you think you don't sound too disappointed if he, no, if he were to leave? No, no. I think Suarez carried him. Suarez made him look good for them two seasons. He is good when he wants to play. He reminds me of Berbatov at Man United. He only, he only plays when he wants to play. He's always sulking, doesn't chase the ball enough, he hasn't got the running power, I don't think. To be fair. I don't think he's been pissing you off. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's, he's a, I don't like him though. Really. It's not as consistent that you would like a striker to be. Um, if you take him, I, I still think he's a great striker and, 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 and I think maybe somebody like Daniel Storage and Ron, another Tavares or a player like that. I, I mean, he was great when he was next to um, 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 Suarez. So he was, but well, that's going back a couple of years now. Let's be honest, if he was a horse, he'd been taken out back and shot in the head years ago. Yeah, well, that's, that's the good thing about soccer, right? They're not going to shoot you in the foot too soon. <laughs> He's an asshole. <laughs>